without further ado i shall hand over the screen space to professor r c dekka sir for his deliberation over to you sir thank you uh, dr begum science ns begum for uh, and so i uh, apologize to all the participants for the network issue what which we have uh, yesterday so i uh, tried to do that presentation from my residence unfortunately it did not work there were some issue uh, i think till uh, today morning my wifi in the residence is not working so there were some problem i hope in the during day time this problem has been solved uh, we'll start from the beginning because yesterday i don't know uh, uh, sign how much time i will have sir you can take uh, as much time as you want we uh, had the session already in the okay, phone room oh, so i i need not be in hurry you know yes sir yeah. uh, so I, my slide is visible i think right sir the slides are visible okay great now uh, what i will be uh, discussing where it has gone okay regarding ugc care and also quality of research so this uh, i think uh, since i was coordinator of ugc care in the east zone for uh, from the beginning means from 2018 to 2022 even now also i uh, interact with the ugc care cell of kespur university so i think i can Uh, share uh, about UGC care, and uh, if you have any question regarding UGC care, you can directly ask me because I was handling the UGC care before I joined uh, Cotton University. So here, uh, why to publish that I told yesterday because publication. If I don't publish, means that is if uh, we are not doing it. So a paper is an organized. description of hypothesis data and conclusions tended to instruct the reader if your research does not generate papers it might just as well not have been done so if my research is not generating paper and this morning one of my friend actually uh, showed a said a very important very nice message so i would like to read that message in the whatsapp message one of my friend uh, sent that message i think in the morning itself sometimes we feel very pleased to get that kind of message so this message was something like uh, ah expression is the best way of self learning a teacher learn best in the classroom so so a teacher Uh, because of that i think we should take as much as class as possible so where i at this university and uh, when i was head or dean i was giving the maximum classes in that department so if somebody is uh, having difficulties in some classes and they will tell you take the class so i was always ready to take classes then second statement what a researcher learn best while preparing the manuscript so that is very important a researcher learn learn the best while preparing the manuscript say yeah, we are doing re research but if we don't write the manuscript means our learning is not not complete so we can learn the best while writing the manuscript doing research is one uh, kind of learning but if we don't write the manuscript means our learning is not complete so that's what the message i received this morning Uh, this morning at 4:19 a.m. I received this uh, message. So uh, one of my friend, uh, Professor Suvendra Kumar Re, so he sent that me in the morning. So if it was not published, it was not done. So if it is not published, big because our knowledge is not complete. So if we don't write the manuscript. and we also we should be also uh, ready to face the 
answer the questions which the reviewer will uh, put. The reviewer, will, uh, the reviewer are very critical about the work. They will critically see, uh, see the read the manuscript and also uh, put some questions which we are very, very difficult to answer. So, uh, if you see in our ancient time, such as Ramayana, Mahabharata, or other uh, thing, uh, other ancient book. So, traditionally, it was going on for uh, many uh, years. Orally, so it orally people used to read. And now, if you uh, say Veda was written later only, so uh, people used to remember Veda. So if if someone uh, remember memorize two Vedas, they were called DVD. Now we have in uh, in uh, UP we have titles, not DVD. If somebody is remembering four Veda, uh, three Vedas, they are called DVD. And if someone is remembering all the four Vedas, they are called Sutur Vedi. So people used to remember, this is oral tradition. So oral tradition was there uh, in, in, even in science or in, uh, in uh, publication without having any books. So people used to remember those things. Then we, we have clay, write, uh, clay writing in clay leaves, so those are copper plates. So those tradition, Hasipat, we know our, in, our, in Assam, we have the tradition of uh, writing manuscript in Hasipat. So those are also, uh, means it is not formal publication, but those are also report. Then when we do research, uh, we can also give presentation uh, like in seminar. That is also some one kind of way we share the knowledge. And then publication in uh, journals, which are uh, um, coming up, uh, across in the present days. So we have to publish in journal. So this all is started with oral tradition and present uh, uh, at present day, publication means we have to write in a form of journal. That is also standard journal. In ancient time, uh, in, when journal started, maybe about 100 years before, so there was no formal structure. I mean, uh, by writing a letter to the editor in a form of the letter only, without having any proper structure. Actually, I am in meeting. Oh. So, uh, so we, uh, and, and only present, at, at present day, we have a proper structure, like a title, then uh, for affiliation, then we have abstract introduction, methodology, results and discussion, and finally conclusion. But about 100 years before, even 50 years before, in some of the journals, there was no formal structure. You can just uh, write in a form of letter to the editor, whatever finding you are having in the research. So that was published uh, as it is. But at present day, we have to have the structured form. So oral tradition, I told about Veda, I mean, Michael Faraday, this is the Michael Faraday, this picture is Michael Faraday. So Faraday used to, uh, uh, Michael Faraday used to keep lecture in the Debbie Faraday Research Laboratory of Great Britain. So this is the, this is called Royal Institution of Great Britain. And Michael Faraday started uh, this lecture. Um, and uh, he used to uh, give lecture, uh, inviting all the famous people, even sometimes school children. Uh, and uh, and in, the, in this big table, uh, he used to demonstrate. This table is still exist. It is still there. And, and uh, even now also, that tradition is there in the Devi Faraday Research Level, where people will be invited, even common people. Uh, even some politician used to come to uh, see the demonstration in this uh, hall. Uh, this is about clear writing, I told. So you all know about this. A manuscript about uh, some of the things in Indian tradition. So we have 
and uh, I think this uh, I think this part I can skip. So now uh, uh, this is the, this is one of the oldest journal, modern day journal, which was published in 1832. So name of the journal is the Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal. So this journal uh, is still continuing. So it was established in 18, by uh, British people, but uh, see after the British people left, so we could not make it very popular. Uh, many other journals which started after uh, this journal became very popular, but this particular journal did not become popular. And I think yesterday I told one um, uh, person from Assam. Uh, so I think I told who was the first person uh, from Assam to publish article in a modern day research journal. So he was Muniram Devan. So he published his article in this particular journal, Journal of Asiatic Society of Bengal in 1838. So this article, uh, you can have a look. It is there in the website, but very difficult to find. You can uh, note down this uh, uh, reference and try try to find out. You will get the uh, particular volume of that uh, uh, journal. And inside that, you have to find out. But if you remember the page number, it may be easy to find out the article. Those who are interested can read. Uh, the title of the uh, uh, manuscript was Native Account of Washing for Gold in Assam. So this is the first paper, research paper written by uh, an Assamist. Then uh, we have uh, Scientific America, another journal which was uh, uh, pub, uh, pub, published in, since 1845. Uh, from around 100 titles worldwide at the beginning of the 19th century, the number of science periodical grew to an estimated 10,000 by the end. So in the beginning, there was only 100 journals, science journals throughout the world. But toward the end of 19th century, we have 10,000 journals. Uh, facilitating in the process of process and exponential growth of popular and professional form of science. So in the science journal itself, from 100 to 10,000, uh, the number has increased so much. Nowadays, scientists might take it for granted that publication in a scientific journal is the recognized way to communicate results, but it was only in the early 19th century that this practice uh, started to become routine. So now only it become routine. Communication by a personal letter or lecture had previously been equally acceptable mode. I, I told in the beginning itself. So now only we need to write in a formal way of writing paper. But before, uh, personal communication in a form of letter was also recognized as uh, research uh, article. Or lecture, if, we, if someone give a, has discovered something, he or she can give a lecture like Michael Faraday gave. And that lecture was uh, maybe some uh, journalist used to write that one in a, uh, in a newspaper and that became a recognition for those uh, researchers. During the second half of 19th century, the invention of the uh, linotype uh, solved a major problem of the printing industry due to the ever increasing speed of presses Typesetting had become a major bottleneck in the production, production process. The linotype solved this problem for newspaper while book printers relied on hot metal typesetters 
from monotype and others. So this is about the history, how uh, this uh, place has evolved. Uh, so during this era, many magazines that are still in existence today are brought to market, including the Zanella of Aesthetic Society of Bengal. Then we have Scientific America, then Nessar, which started in 1869, National Geography, 1880, those kind of magazines. The Scientific American, NASA, National Geographic, these are these become very, very popular compared to the Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal. Now, uh, uh, yesterday I think I could not complete uh, the lecture or something. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 i am i uh, many of you now know who is Dr. Dr. Radhigaram Rekhyal Pukon. He is the son of Anandaram Rekhyal Pukon. And in 1873, he went to London for, a, for higher studies. Unfortunately, he, uh, actually he went to study very, uh, law. Unfortunately, he could not complete uh, his law. Then from uh, 1880, 1877 to 1886. So he was traveling in Europe, learning music and spending time here and there, particularly in Italy. And in 1886, somehow he became interested to chemistry, to study chemistry. So I don't know how he became interested to study chemistry. No report is available. But one thing is in Europe, uh, chemistry, particularly at Heidelberg University, chemistry was at the peak during that time. So he might have uh, learned something about Heidelberg University and he joined Heidelberg University in 1886 for uh, studying chemistry. And he worked with uh, Robert Bunsen. So we have Bunsen uh, Barner in our chemistry laboratory. Radhigaram Rikhal for work with him, also under the guidance of Makun uh, So uh, under the guidance of uh, uh, this Victor Mayor. So he worked, uh, he, in fact, he or nowadays in the chemistry laboratory, there is one apparatus known as Victor Mayor apparatus. At this point, I have not seen, but I have seen that apparatus in uh, beer. For vapor pressure, for de determining vapor pressure. And Radhigaram Rikhal Fukon was working in that particular uh, topic. So this is the first paper uh, in 1892. So uh, uh, this name of the journal is Beriste Dar Deutschen Kemitzen Gesellschaft. So this is the name of the journal in uh, uh, in Deutsch or German language. And the present day name of the journal is European Journal of Inorganic Chemistry. This is the present day name. And this is the first article published by a chemist in a journal from India. From India, Radhikaram, many people do not know about this. So Radhikaram Rivkial Fukon is the first Indian, first Indian chemist. I don't know whether other from other subjects someone has published, but in chemistry, I know that he is the first chemist to have research article in uh, in journal. Even before Asalzer Pisire. Asalzer Pisire published his article in 1890, 1894. 
for the Radhikaram Regal Spoken published in 1892. So I have a different presentation on the Radhikaram Regal Spoken. So I am not elaborating everything here. So these are other two articles written by Radhikaram Regal Spoken. Uh, so uh, another one is 1892 and, uh, and other one is 1894. He published three research articles. All the three research articles are written. And even you can download, maybe these are freely available because of that I got. Um, and he, he is the first PhD, first Assamist to have a PhD. So uh, before Radhikaram, Nikhil Bukon, nobody from Assam did PhD. And now I am coming to EGC care with this background of publication. From oral tradition to our Radhikaram Nekal Pukhan. So, EGC care list has two groups. So, EGC care list group one, journal published uh, uh, by Indian publisher are put in group one. EGC care list group one, journal index in globally recognized databases like Scopus, Wave of Science, and any other database are put in EGC care list two. So there are so those uh, uh, no, uh, uh, journals are there in the easy care list. You can create your own login and then you can see whether uh, journal is there in UGC care or not. So UGC care uh, formed on November 28th of November 2018, the following objective to promote quality research academic integrity and publication ethics in Indian universities. To promote high quality publications in reputed journals that would help in achieving higher global ranks. So that is another objective of EGC care. To develop an approach and methodology for identification of good quality journals. Then to prevent publication in predatory, dubious, substandard journals, which reflect adversely the adversely and tarnish the image of Indian academia. To create and maintain a UGC care reference list of quality journals, UGC care list. Care means consortium for academic and research uh, ethics. So that is the full form of care for all academic purposes. And another objective is to promote journals in regional languages. Uh, even uh, uh, in NEP 2020, so uh, in the undergraduate teaching, so UGC is giving importance to teach undergraduate uh, in regional languages. And there is also one circular, I don't know whether you have noticed, you can give lecture in English, but the student has the right to answer in their mother tongue or in regional languages. You cannot force them to write in English. That notice has been issued by UGC. Uh, if you have not seen, you can uh, you can see in the UGC web page that uh, I think about two, three months back, uh, UGC, uh, that the chairman of UGC, Jogdis Kumar has uh, issued that notice. And uh, and uh, and we need to also promote the regional languages. Earlier, uh, people uh, gave importance that uh, we should learn English and we should learn English, we should speak English. Now everyone can speak English. So those who are studying in uh, Assamese medium, they can also speak English, but they don't know Assamese. That is the problem. Uh, not only the pro this is not the problem only in Assam, throughout India. Now that many people do not know their mother tongue and their local languages. So that, have, that has become a big issue in India. Uh, so now UGC is going back. Uh, so to, to promote regional languages. If someone start a journal in Assamese or in any other regional languages, it is easy uh, for them to get into the uh, UGC care compared to that journal uh, pa published in English.
then a credibility of research application is extremely important because it represents the academic image of not just an individual but of the institution and the entire nation so when we do research we have to be very careful because uh, so when while publishing we get credit but if there are some problem so this will uh, give a that image of the individual and also to the institution and also to the nation. So because of that, this UCC care has come up. The number of research articles published in reputed journal is one of the globally accepted indicators considered for various academic purposes, such as institutional ranking, appointment, promotion of faculty members, membership of academic committees, award of research degree, etc. So these are quality is, is very, very important. The problem of predatory dubious substandard journal has become a cause of serious concern all over the world. It is not a problem only in India, all over the world. The percentage of research article published in poor quality journal is reported to be high in India, which has adversely affected its image. So now, uh, say if we, uh, we, uh, we have, in, uh, I interacted with many scientists, many researchers outside India. So one day I asked one of the big scientists, what do you think uh, about Indian scientists, Indian scientists? So I gave some big name, so don't ask that name. So then uh, he told out Indian scientists are follower means we follow, we are not creator. So that is the message throughout the world, people think about Indian research. Because already damage has been done. So publication in dubious substandard journal uh, reflect adversely leading to long-term academic damage and a, and a tarnished image of an individual institution and the nation. So that we, that is very, very serious. Now I'll explain why UGC care is necessary. So who, this is one person, uh, John Bohanan, Dr. John Bohanan. He is a science journalist from America. So he wrote one article in uh, science, the journal Science. The title of the article is who is afraid of peer review? So this is the title of the article. What is there? So in September uh, 2013, Bohanan submitted a fake and very broad scientific articles to a large number of fees charging open access publishers. Large number of article means uh, uh, he made a computer program. So he uh, submitted 255 uh, articles and 157 journal accepted the article without review. So all are open, 255 is open access. And uh, out of that, 157 article uh, journals accepted the article without peer review without any review. And some, art, some journal rejected this article and some journal asked for some revision. But more than 60% journal accepted the article. So what he did in this article, the paper took uh, the, this form. Molecule X from lichen species Y inhibits the growth of cancer cell Z. Uh, to substitute created a database of molecules, lichens, and cancer cell lines and wrote a computer program to generate hundreds of unique papers. Other than those differences, means X, Y, Z, the scientific content of each paper is identical. So he wrote a computer program 
and submitted this article to uh, 255 open access journals and 157 accepted the article without any Now, so on uh, 4 July, good news arrived in the inbox of Upurapo Kabange, a biologist at the Wase Institute of Medicine in Asmara. It was the official letter of acceptance for a paper he submitted two months earlier to the Journal of National Pharmaceutical, describing the anti-cancer properties of a chemical that Kabange has extracted from a lichen species. So that was the, uh, the good news means his journal was, his article was accepted by this particular journal. So in fact, it should have been promptly rejected. This article should have been promptly rejected because uh, it was wrongly written. And any uh, person who is having basic knowledge, high school knowledge of chemistry, could have identified the shortcoming of the paper. But uh, reviewers also like this, they don't read. Uh, its experiments were so hopelessly uh, flawed that the results are meaningless. I know because I wrote the paper. I mean, this is that Bohanan. Bohanan told that I know because I only wrote the paper. Nobody should have accepted that paper. But 157 Zanel accepted his paper for money. Because if they accept the paper, they will get money. Because Ukarafo Kabange, the author of the paper, does not exist. So he, uh, while writing the manuscript that Bohanan, uh, gave some dummy name, a uh, person name who does not exist, and the institute name of the institute which also does not exist. The Wasa Institute of Medicine also does not exist. But the paper got accepted. This is the situation. So based on his experience, how open access journals are accepting the paper, so he wrote a very nice article which was published in Science. So what he did, uh, once the editor accepted the journal, so he simply wrote to the editor, thank you very much for accepting my, my article. However, during this time, I found some serious uh, flaw in my uh, article. So I would like to withdraw my article. So like that, he withdrew all the, all the articles. All the 157 articles he withdrew from the journal. He did not publish those uh, false articles. But his experience of uh, doing these activities that he wrote uh, in a beautiful article, which was published in Science. So this is the summary of his experience. This, this, in this article, you can find out the uh, summary of his research. This is also some kind of research. How open access journal accept articles. So his research was on that. So he did not publish any wrong article in any of the journal. He withdrew all the articles, and then his experience was published in the science journal. Now, why India came up with uh, UGC CAR? The reason is most of the article which was published, which uh, journals which accepted these articles are from India. So this is the map where we have the hub of open access journals. So India has become a hub of open access journal and they accepted those articles. So after that, I think India, uh, India UGC become uh, serious because something has to be done. It cannot go like this. So because of that, UGC care came. So it affected the image of India. No? Many of the articles are published from India only. Channels. This is uh, another story about CV Raman. So CV, this is the handwriting of CV Raman. So CV Raman, when he discovered his uh, Roman effect, he did not send to big journals. He uh, published his articles in the Indian Journal of Physics. Then he made uh, hundreds or 150 copies of those 
uh, the, of his articles, and he sent that article to many of the scientists, including Professor Niels Bohr. This is Niels Bohr. So he sent uh, to uh, many of the scientists. Later on, he published his article in Nature, but the uh, article for which Sibiraman got Nobel Prize was published in Indian Journal of Physics. Means, what does indicate? So, if someone is doing good work, it need not be published in very highly reputed journals. It can uh, good work if you publish in any of the ordinary journals, uh, uh, and that itself will get recognition. Even Einstein uh, did not publish his work in great journals. His uh, uh, Black Body Radiation, then uh, Relativity, were all published in some uh, small journals in, uh, in German, in, in German language, language, not in nature or science. So I think we need not be very crazy about uh, having very highly reputed uh, journal. Only we should be careful about the quality of the work. So UGC care has taken the responsibility of preparing the UGC care list. Uh, so because of that, a list of Indian journals, especially from discipline of disciplines of arts, science, humanities, languages, culture, and Indian knowledge system is being prepared and updated quarterly. So uh, this UGC I think uh, that meeting is uh, meeting used to happen for uh, every uh, after three months, so uh, four times in a year uh, that uh, they used to update the list. And during that period, after uh, all the there are four centers, I'll come to that. Uh, they accept the uh, proposal, and then uh, every three months uh, there is a meeting. The UGC care list includes journals from all disciplines indexed in globally accepted databases as, as index in Scopus, Web of Science, so like that it is, uh, it is accepted. And these journals are to be considered for all academic purposes. Journal index in Scopus, Web of Science, also in UGC care list, group two. It, it is in UGC care. The um, uh, Empire Committee, there is one Empire Committee. So this is a called council member. The council member represents a representative from, we have representative from strategic councils, like Indian Academy of Science, Indian Council for the, the IC, ICSSR. So all those councils, there are representative. There are representative from academics, universities, government bodies, in social science, sciences, humanities, art and finance, science, medical, agriculture, from all those things we have represented. They are called council members. Uh, there are four centers. Uh, this is uh, this, the northern part. All the proposal will go to ZNU, from Sandigarh, Delhi, Haryana. These uh, states are included. Zumbo Kashmir, uh, are, those are from, uh, they will propose, send a proposal to Zawalal Nehru University. From Western zone, we have these uh, states, and their proposal will go to MS University of Baroda. And from Southern zone, from these states, in, from Andaman Nikubar to Telangana, so everything will go to Hyderabad. And in Eastern zone, we have from uh, Orinasal Pradesh to uh, Odisha, then Bihar is, Zarkhan is also included. And then Northeast, then Bihar, Zarkhan, Odisha, West Bengal. So they will be included in the Eastern journal. So if someone is publishing any journal, uh, they have to send to the University. And these four center will uh, do initial uh, Initial, uh, it is not screening data entry to the UGC uh, portal, which was developed by Pune University, and this will go to Pune University. At Pune University, uh, in the Department of Library, there is a uh, big uh, uh, team 
they will analyze, they will verify whatever data has been input uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the software, and they will give some scoring. Scoring is not given by the core center. And based on that scoring, if the score is six or above six out of 10, then that journal will be discussed in the council uh, meeting. If the scoring is less than six, so it will be rejected by Pune University itself. And uh, this is the site if you open UGC care list. So uh, you will get uh, this part. Uh, so this Kumar is the uh, chairman of UGC. So he, his messages are here. Or uh, notices are also given in this uh, part. Then we have uh, a list of clone journals. Clone journals, uh, it is very unfortunate that in India, people can do business with any kind of, uh, by violating any kind of achieves. So if some journals are in, 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 in uh, UGC care, immediately they will create another journal with the same name, same ISSN number. But those are for, uh, or clone journals. Many times uh, for a new researcher, it is very difficult to find out a clone journal and the UGC care list and journal. So, but UGC uh, used to update this clone journal uh, very frequently. So my advice is before submitting to any of the journal, so please verify, please check in the uh, list of clone journal in both in UCC care group one and care group two, and then you submit your article. So that will be like clone journal, you see, printed journal, one is called Abru. This is the name of the journal. And the clone journal has been uh, started with the name Abru journal. The journal word is not there. ISSN number is same. And uh, that this journal does not have the uh, uh, homepage uh, because this is a print journal only, but this one is having a homepage. And, and here it is very, very, uh, this, is, this is another journal called Adigram. So this is Adigram is the original journal. The clone journal name is Adigram International Journal of Hindi Research. So name is Odigram, they care, but they have added something. International Journal of Indian Research. Publisher is also there. They, these are dummy publisher. State Institute of Education is the original publisher, but they made one dummy publisher with the same name. So, so you have to be very careful to avoid publishing in clone journal, clone journal. So you can have a list. So what? Two student are uh, now. So this is violation of ethics. I think I this uh, this uh, research my lecture was on. I think I will not go for ethics because this will also take time. Uh, this was. Uh, I think I will not go for this ethical part. So I'll skip this part. So I have. Uh, because this will take very long time. Uh, now, I think this idea generation, I think I'll skip so because uh, what I'll give. Uh, so now, uh, why we are doing this uh, violation of ethics and other things, coping other things? So do you think that a research field will get saturated one day? Because uh, uh, many times when we want to do research, we don't know what to do. We don't find any new topics uh, where uh, uh, what to do, what to be done. So we are in a, if we want to do something, then you will find that this has been done by somebody else. So now do you think that will research will get saturated one day? So this was the question. And this is this, is, this was my question. So one day I was moving at this university in 2006 with Professor B. Vishanathan. So I was asking him, 
why people are working on gold nanoparticles. Then he replied, no, they are not finding anything else to do. So simply he told like that. Then I asked, if it is like that, will this still get saturated one day? So I asked this question to Professor Gibbs. Anybody want to answer? Will the research field get saturated one day? Because in my next click, you will get the answer. So before that, if someone gives me the answer, it will be Any participants who are actively listening to my uh, talk? Of course, uh, many people. Eh? I, I know the answer because you have told us, but or I I, I you know, <laughs> but I am asking from other people. Those who are listening, simply not blogging and then doing something else. Because online that is possible, no. Only it is not possible for me because I have to deliver. For other people, they can do other work. But, uh, because of that, I am asking. Uh, if somebody wants to reply, I'll be very happy. I can ask with name also, but it will, it will be embarrassing for because names are displayed here. So I don't want to embarrass anybody. It can be any answer. Uh, it is be yes or no. Because my I was of that my I was having that problem, no. So if, if every if there is no new topic, or uh, one day the research field will get saturated. That was my feeling. Sir, somebody answered in the chat box. Uh, yes, it depends upon the researchers or research. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good. So the answer is. The research field will never get saturated. Only the individual gets, gets saturated. So research field will never get saturated. So I will have limitations. So I my ideas will be limited. So research field will get saturated, but and will never get saturated. Only the individuals individual gets saturated. So he is Professor B. B. Sanathan from IIT Madras. Then. Uh, uh, now I will continue with the idea, new ideas. So ideas are like rabbits. Those who are who has uh, pet uh, rabbits as pet, so they can understand this one, this statement very easily. Ideas are rabbits. Ideas are like rabbits. You get a couple and learn how to handle them, and pretty soon you will get dozen. So rabbit's growth is tremendous. So when you get pet, a rabbit as a pet, it is very, very difficult to control their growth. So ideas are like rabbit. And uh, so once you, you, you start with one idea, then after that you will have many, many ideas to do research. So, but getting fast idea is uh, you have to do a lot of hard work. And this is not my statement. It is the statement of John Steinbeck, who got Nobel Prize in Literature in 1962, I think. Yeah, 1962. So winner of uh, Nobel Prize in Literature. So in, in his book, he has written that ideas are like rabbits. And uh, once you get some idea, you will have thousands of ideas from one idea. So now another novel, he gave four pieces of advice. Be passionate, be uh, persistent, be original, and be kind and good. So I am coming towards the end of my presentation. Passion is needed for any endeavor. And being pers persistent means you believe in yourself. If you do not, why should anybody else? By being original, competition is less of a concern. And by being kind and good, you make friends, not enemies. So this is uh, the person, Michael Levy, who got Nobel Prize in Chemistry in uh, 2005. So I think I am towards the end. So before I go to the last slide, 
uh, in fact, uh, Dr. Science and Nurse Begum told me that I should also tell uh, something about research funding. Yesterday I started, I told, I think whether it was clear or not, I don't know. Uh, but today again, I want to repeat. So when Darwin started his research, there was no government body to fund research. So research was funded by parents. Darwin's father was very rich. So he gave a lot of money to Darwin to move throughout the world and for doing research. But nowadays, research has become so expensive. I think nobody's father or mother will sponsor uh, or cannot sponsor uh, for doing research. So we need to get funding from government agencies. And, uh, and uh, I think there is one scheme called TARE, TARE, Teachers Associate, something like that. Uh, uh, and that is given by uh, SERB. And uh, you need to have, uh, find out someone who is, uh, who, is a, who is an established researcher and with, uh, with, uh, with him or her, you can write a proposal jointly. And uh, I think more than 50% or 50% will be given to the, uh, uh, to the associate researcher and some money will be given to the uh, host. It is called host, the senior researcher who established a researcher is called the host. So money is not, very much in this project, but still you can start some kind of research in this, uh, with this scheme. And nowadays getting project from GST, DBT is, has become very competitive because uh, the central government has reduced the funding to IITs. And, uh, and because of that, many of the faculty members from IITs, ISAR, or big institute like CSR laboratories, they used to uh, write many proposal to this organization. Earlier, uh, they did not write, uh, many faculty members did not write proposal to DST because they, they were having their own funding. So now uh, since those people are uh, writing proposal to DST, DPT, CSIR, and uh, uh, in the committee, in the, uh, in the decision making committee, there people are sitting. So you will not find people from universities or, uh, or, or from colleges. Whereas 90% students are, are product, researchers are produced from universities or colleges in India. Only 2% are from those institutes. But unfortunately, in the controlling body, they are sitting. So it is very, very difficult to get funding unless, until and unless you know someone or your proposal is extraordinary. But uh, you should not worry about that. You keep writing. And this is one, uh, there are some other options. Uh, uh, you can also try uh, to get funding from uh, some of the industries, local industries, uh, those who are in Aparasam. They can approach to Oil India. Oil India can support some uh, mini projects or NRL. Uh, they will support. And uh, you can uh, try. SCRB has some other scheme uh, for colleges. And, and I think government, very soon, government is going to uh, start one uh, new funding agency only for the universities and colleges. So once it will it, it is it is materialized. So I think it will be easy for us to get funding for the research. But we also try to find out now NEP 2020 has to be implemented. We have to implement undergraduate research. And we cannot uh, give blame to government for not giving infrastructure, not giving funding. Because they will they have asked to implement. And we have we are the uh, executor of this that those those uh, 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 NEP twenty twenty and uh, and we have to find out some method where we can uh, give some uh, research exposure to our student, which does not involve much money 
or we win without involving any money. So that uh, is possible. I think uh, one way to find out there is something called, uh, if you see in uh, uh, Google, called citizen scientist. Citizen scientist means involving citizen for doing research. How to do that will depends on what kind of field in which in which field you are working. Not only in science, of course, political science is also science, social science. Everywhere we have science. Uh, uh, so we have to find out some way to involve our students in research, which does not involve much money or uh, or no money. So we have to work out on that. So I think with this, I'll come to the last one. So this was, uh, since ethics was there, so I took one uh, uh, sloka from Bhagavad Gita. So it is like, it goes like the Samu Damastha Baha Sausam Santi Rajarva Vevasa Gyanam Vigyana Mastiskam Brahma Karma Swarajam. So this peacefulness, self-control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, knowledge, wisdom, and religiousness. These are the natural qualities of great power. So with this, I think I will stop. If you have any question, you can ask me. And thank you very much for your kind attention. And also I thank that you all have joined today's uh, program, although yesterday also you spent time. So I thank all the participants. Mm -hmm. And also, I thank the principal of Gorgam College, Dr. Sarpasasi Mahanta, organizers and the IQAC members of uh, Gorgam College and Science and Nas Begum for inviting me to, be, uh, to, to share my experience about this with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your engaging and in-depth talk on research papers from why to publish to its history and the different aspects of UGC care that were unknown to us. I can speak for myself that after listening to your talk, I feel motivated to start researching again and also to complete my pending manuscripts. The session is yeah. now open for discussion. Please forward your queries if anyone has any doubts or questions. I have already seen a few questions in the chat box. Let me just read uh -huh. it out. So Uh, somebody asked that I would like to know that after submission of a research article for a care list journal, how many phases or steps are to be followed to publish an article? And is there any difference in publication of research article between paid or unpaid journal? Uh, so, uh, uh, so I have not able to use our chat box. No, I think I'll, I'll also try to read. Uh, what was the question? Uh, somebody has put good afternoon and uh, where I should go. Which question, Sain? Sir, uh, Mr. Plabon Bhuya has sent. I would Plabon like to. Bhuya, no? Yes, sir. So, Plabon Bhuya, good afternoon to one and all. I would like to know that after submission of a research article or a careless journal, how many phases or steps are to be? I have online meeting or so, all of this from Korea. So, how many phases or steps are to be followed to publish an article? So, uh, I think this question, uh, the my that question should have been how to put the journal in UGC care. But uh, anyway, so UGC care is once you put the journal in UGC, if the journal is in UGC care, so and how many steps is necessary that depends on the editor of the uh, journal. So if uh, general general procedure procedure is editor will first read the article. If the, uh, if the editor does not like that, or if the editor finds that this article is not so suitable for my uh, journal, then editor will immediately reject. 
telling that your article is not suitable for our journal. That is, that is the first one. If editor finds that article is good, but he is not from that particular field, then editor will send the article to uh, a reviewer who are expert in that particular field. Reviewer will, reviewer will read the article <coughs> and give his or her comment to the editor. And based on the comments of, uh, of, by the reviewer, editor will make a decision that your article needs to be re reviewed. You need to make some revision or your article could be accepted. So this is the normal procedure in any journal. The next question is, is there any difference in publication of research article between paid and unpaid journal? So, now paid and unpaid, the how much? So that is a matter. So in the journal published from India, according to UGC care, should not ask any money. If some journal from, uh, are, are there in UGC care, so it is clearly mentioned by UGC care that they should not ask money. If some journal asks money, then first you should doubt that whether the journal is there in UGC care or not. When you submit one article to any journal, if the editor is asking money, first pay the amount, then you, be, you have to be careful. You should look in the UGC care list whether that journal is, is exist or not. And if you if the journal is asking money, and if you send a complaint to UGC care that I submitted this article to this particular journal, and editor is asking me 10,000 rupees. If you send that letter to UGC care, immediately that journal will be removed from UGC care. So that is one thing. Because UGC from India, they should not ask money. And then, uh, but there are some journals in uh, Web of Science of Papas which ask huge amount of money. Huge amount of money means very high. It can be one lakh, it can be two lakh, three lakhs, four lakhs, up to nine lakhs for one article. So those articles are very high standard. Even by paying, you cannot, by paying nine lakhs of this, you cannot publish your article. They are very serious. They will rigorously evaluate your article. They will see whether your article is having some merit or not. Then only they will ask for money. After going through all the processes, reviewing processes, they will ask money. But in Indian journal, you, if you submit one article today, tomorrow the editor is asking money without any process. So for those kind of things, you have to be careful. So difference is like that. Is it clear? So uh, it depends on our dieting, the absolutely the attention. Okay. Any other questions, Sir, uh, I see a question. Two questions from uh, Pakistan. Oh. So, Can you read that? Journals question? get exempted. So she eh? says, if uh, we have seen that some journals got exempted from UGC care list when it gets updated, so what to do in such a situation? Okay. We have seen that some journals got exempted from UGC care list when it gets updated. What to do? Uh, okay. If if you have published your article in this kind of journal, then uh, whether your article will be counted for a promotion or for any kind of uh, academic uh, award, or, that will depend on the committee. So say once my article is published in particular journal, and after a new update, that journal has been removed from that I think that was, I understood that was the situation, that situation, what to do. So in that situation, uh, that selection committee or the authority, in case of university, the vice chancellor. So vice chancellor make one committee. 
should make a committee and and uh, ask the committee to see the merit of the article. So if the article is good, then full credit should be given to the uh, author. So uh, if you see as issued one notice in, in one of my presentation on the left side, there was some notice. So in that notice, one of the notice, the UGC has mentioned. So there, in, uh, there are many journals was there in UGC before 2018. So after 2018, many journals has been removed. So what to do with that? And many articles were good in those journals. We cannot tell that all the, all the journal articles were useless. So in that situation, uh, the authority has to make a committee of the concerned subject and see the merit of the articles. If the article is good, then the author should get the full credit. Now, next question. Sir, it says, does the UGC care list include Indian journals only? I told you there are two lists. Uh, group one is Indian journal, and group two uh, journals published from outside. Even group one, some of the journals published from uh, outside India uh, could be included if the proposal has, proposal has gone to the whole center of India. Uh, 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 you are, uh, one journal is not there in Hopas, but the journal is good. So if you give the proposal to Tespur University, Tespur University will update, and then that journal will, uh, if, the, if the committee finds that journal is good, that will be included in group one. Otherwise, it will be included. Now, tell me the next one, if there is any. Sir, good evening, sir. Uh, thank you for your uh, fruitful discussion. Sir, one uh, question is uh, here uh, regarding, can you please share the protocols uh, for a journal to be included in the UC care list? Protocol? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The protocol, uh, actually, uh, only I know, uh, but uh, it is not uh, public. So UGC has told us not to make it public. So because if the, if Indian people are very smart to fulfill those protocols. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay any other question? Uh, it looks like there are no more questions. Okay. Okay, so moving forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So we may we have now come to the conclusion of today's session. Uh, we are now proceeding towards the vote of thanks. On behalf of the organizing committee, we extend our thanks to Honorable Principal Sir Dr. Sapisachi Mahanta Sir for supporting us and motivating us to organize this faculty development program. We sincerely thank a resource person, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Cotton University, Professor Ramesh Chandra Dekha, sir, for a very dynamic and interesting session and for discussing the several aspects of research and publication. Thank you so much, sir. I would also take this opportunity to thank the IQST coordinator, Dr. Surajit Saikya, sir, and the faculty members from the Department of Economics, Mahapurush Srimanta Shankar De Vishwavidyale, for their wholehearted support. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to all the faculty members of Gorgha College and faculty members, researchers, and participants joining us from different colleges for their cordial support rendered in the successful completion of today's session. Thank you so much. Uh, with this, I declare the session to be over. Thank you all once again for being with us. Wish you a very good night. Okay, thank you, sir. So I'll stop now. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay sir.